Hey guys, it's Trish from Trish's Card Club, live from Chattanooga. How are you guys? Happy Wednesday night. Well, we did it. We made it to the end of the college, uh, the football season. Big game on Sunday, yep, Super Bowl Sunday, which is a reminder that we won't have a video on Sunday because on Super Bowl Sunday, the Super Bowl is at six o'clock, which will mean it'll be right in the middle of my video time. So we're going to have to pass on that. I know you're going to be disappointed, but I also know you're going to be watching the Super Bowl because you're going to be wondering who's going to win. Could change your life. You could fall in love with football. You know, these are important things. So I just want to remind everybody, no video on Sunday night. Okay. Hey, Mary. Thanks for joining. Thanks, Karen. Um, I just sent out an email. It might be in your inbox or well on its way to your inbox uh, announcing my Zoom event. Um, I don't have the date yet. I will be sending that out in a couple weeks because I have to order a piece of equipment and um, it won't, it'll take a couple weeks to get here. So it will probably be the, I was hoping it was going to be the end of February. February. It's probably going to be mid, um, mid March ish, give or take. Hey, Kristen, how are you, mommy to be? Um, I almost did a card for you tonight, Kristen. So you'll have to come back because I was going to do a tulip card, but I need a birthday card, so I had to switch around a little bit, but I thought about you all day today when I was thinking about tulip cards. Alrighty, so tonight's video is message is, is titled, Making a Card Out of DSP When You Don't Have the Matching Stamps, because that's the situation I found myself in, and so I had to be creative. I wasn't that creative. Be why? Because I Googled this um, idea, and... A very talented stamper generously posted a card that captured exactly what I wanted to do. And if I can find it, I'm going to give you her name. Where is my little card that I wrote it down? I wrote it down on a card, and now I've misplaced the card. Mm-hmm. Brilliant, Trish. Brilliant. All right, so let's keep moving since I can't find it. Okay, just found it. Uh, her name is Wendy Waldman. And Wendy came up with this beautiful card idea using DSP, not having stamps. And so, hey, Miss Judy, welcome. Thanks for coming. And I really couldn't wait to try it out. Why? Because my husband's birthday is tomorrow, and I did not have a card for him. I needed to get a card. So we're going to talk a little bit about a couple of different DSPs and then the plan. My shameless plug, trishn.stampinup.net. In case you need supplies or ideas, feel free to go there. Good stuff to look at too because Stampin' Up um, sponsors that web or <gasps> excuse me, um, not sponsors it but um, curates that web page. So, okay, so in front of you, you guys have four sheets of out of six of DSP that's called Heart and Home, and it's on page 59 of the mini catalog. And I don't particularly love this um, card stock. This, pattern. I think it's a little bit too old ladyish. This is what it looks like in the book. But what I love about this DSP is the back because the back is all different types of wood planks and that opens up a wide array of opportunity. So keep that in mind. That's one DSP we're going to use. The second DSP that we're going to use is called New Horizons. It's on page 43 of the catalog, and that's what I wanted you to see. The paper is very um, graphic. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's very it's full of scenes, and it has a beautiful stamp set that goes with it and dies, and it is beautiful. And I've seen so many, so many pretty, pretty, pretty cards with that. Guy cards. Um, girl cards, birthday cards, just a, a wide variety of cards. And they're beautiful. People have really put some beautiful things out there. But I don't have the stamps and I don't have the dies. All I have is the paper. Why? Because we did a paper share and I have a lot of paper and I'm going to use it. Hey, Judy, Julie, thank you for coming. I will tell them you said happy birthday, Miss uh, um, <laughs> Judy. <laughs> Judy, Julie. Okay, so this is the card. This is the cardstock. So this is one side. They're absolutely beautiful scenes. They're done in watercolor, and they're just gorgeous. I almost hate using them because I think they're so pretty. So, but alas, I need a card for my husband. 
So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to show you the card that I made for Steve, just so you can see it, and then I'm going to show you how I went about the process of doing it. So this is the card that I made for him. Isn't that pretty? So I didn't have stamps, but I had designer series paper, and I just cut the three panels, just like Wendy did, and then I did happy birthday. Now, the happy birthday, you guys, is um, embossed, and I had a customer and a friend and another demonstrator, Angela, asked me about embossing. What have you been drinking? I know. It does, sounds like I've been drinking. Kevin, and I haven't been. I've been drinking water. So I'm very boring, Judy. So I don't even drink Diet Coke anymore. It's so sad. So this is the card that I'm going to be giving Steve for his birthday, which he hasn't seen. But I'm going to show you how I made this card and how you can do the same exact concept. It doesn't just have to be scenes. And let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so what I did is I took a, a six by six D a six by twelve DSP like this, um, very similar pattern, and I cut it in four inch strips. So it's four inches by six inches. So I have three. So out of this one strip of paper, I can get three cards, and I'm just going to do one to show you. Then I'm going to take these pieces of paper and I'm going to cut them in half. That gives me three and three. So out of this one piece of paper, I get two cards. So you can get a lot of cards out of this pattern, out of this design. Now, this is not exactly how Wendy did it. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm inspired by what she did. I'm not, I'm not doing exactly what she did, um, but it's something very similar. So I'm going to cut this in three inches, and then I'm going to cut it down to five and a quarter. And I'm going to take the grass off because we have more grass than we have sky. And so now I have this as three inches by five and a quarter, and then I'm going to cut this down to three one inch strips. One, move that, um, I'll save the other one and do that off, off uh, camera. Two and three. Okay, that's that. And I just realized that I don't have my card base. Okay, I need to get my card base. Then I'm going to take this, which is four inches by six and a quarter, and I'm going to cut this down to five and a quarter by four inches. So five and a quarter by four inches. One moment, please, while I get some black paper. Good thing I know where my paper is. Okay. Actually, you know what would really be pretty with this is navy blue, but I'm going to do black because that's what I grabbed, and it will still look good. So this is going to be cut to four and a quarter, and then I'm going to score it at five and a half. I know I'm going really quick with the numbers, you guys. These are just basic measurements for card bases. If you don't know what they are, if I'm going too fast, and you just leave me a post, I will... Um, I'll, I'll go back afterwards and I'll edit the post to put the, the, the measurements in. I know, Judy, no Diet Coke. I haven't had Diet Coke now. I think I'm going on four or five months and I dream about it. I literally had a dream. I'm not exaggerating, you guys. Last night I had a dream about drinking a Diet Coke and it was so delicious. And I keep thinking, why did I give this up? It is so good. But alas, I gave it up. Okay, so then I'm going to put the, this on here like that. <laughs> not with white out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run out of this, but I have my refill already ready. So I'm going to put that here like that. Now, to do this, let's get it back in the right order. Isn't that pretty, you guys? It's very simple, but it's the paper is beautiful, and it makes its own statement, and I love it. So to get it to be even, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the center. or as close to the center as I can eyeball it. Let me see if I can get that straight. I think that's straight. And then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put this on this side. And I'm gonna do this one. Now, if you know someone that is an outdoorsy person. This is a fantastic card to give them. I'm out of glue, perfect timing. Um, Steven is a landscape architect, so he designs the dirt, he doesn't touch it. So I thought it would be really cool to give him a card that had trees on it. I thought he would, he will totally appreciate that. It, I would show you the card again if I could find it. What did I do? I threw it, at, oh, there it is. So he'll totally appreciate the trees and the flowers and stuff and he'll, he'll love that card. So this is the card that I made and this is another one. 
And all I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to make the happy birthday. I'm going to emboss it in white. I'm going to put it right there. And that, that card is done. It doesn't need anything else. So just imagine, you guys, if you know a morning person, this would be a great card to make them because it's the sunrise. Or if you know a night owl, it's a great card because it's the sunset, whichever, however you look at it. Um, isn't this kind of moody and fun? That is so pretty. Another one. These, these just are gorgeous. And somebody hand-painted these, and then they take pictures of them, and they make this incredible design of series paper. I just love that one, you guys. That is so pretty. Look at that. So, as I said, people have made all kinds of cards with these using the stamp set and the dies. But if you don't have the stamp set and the dies, with a little bit of creativity, you can come up with a really pretty card. Hence, this is what we came up with. So I thank Wendy for that idea, putting that out there. Mine's a little bit different than hers, but the concept is the same. She didn't. She she just used one sheet of paper and didn't make her strips as narrow, and she did a horizontal. So I'm just doing it vertical. And then I have this piece still, which I'll cut in three. And then I have um, plenty more pieces of the the DSP. That's the which I also can't find now. Somewhere in here. Oh, there it is. I have three more of these just from that six by six. So I'll be able to make at least one more card and that still leaves me another cool background, which I may end up stamping on because DSP is fun to stamp on too. So that, ladies, is how you make a card when you have just the DSP and no coordinating stamps. All right, that's an easy one for tonight. Um, around here, we're gonna make it and we're gonna mail it. I'm gonna make it and deliver it. But I have um, a bunch of cards I put in the mail already this week, so I'm very happy that I'm a little bit caught up on my card making because I was so far behind. Check your emails. If you didn't get an email from me, let me know, and I will add you to my email list. And you can let me know whether you're interested in participating in the Zoom that we're going to be doing, a Zoom interactive, which should be a lot of fun. And um, what else can I say? Just that I miss you guys. I love you guys. I'm excited for Sunday. It's going to be a really good game, I believe. I think two teams that really want to win that haven't been in the Super Bowl in a really long time, both well, one guy's really young, Joe Burrow. He's a really young quarterback. The other guy's been around for a while, but on a team that, that didn't have a lot of success. So um, now he's on a different team, and he's going to the Super Bowl. And as you all know, I'm sure you saw my Tom Brady retired. Um, I'm really happy for Tom. I think it's incredible that he's going to get to spend time with his family. I'm really sad for me <laughs> because his excellence, his it was amazing. His his work ethic and the stuff he did on the field was really, really amazing. Hey, Nancy. So um, 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 I'm going to miss him a lot. I'm going to miss his expertise and his dedication and his just his phenomenal mind. And I hope that Tom does something really good after football, something um, – um, I don't know, mentoring or something, because I think he just has so much he can do. Um, Karen, you can call me anytime, Eastern time, between 9 and 11, or between 3 and after. Um, I have conference calls and going on in between, so if that helps you with your schedule. All right, you guys, that's it. I love you guys. Like I said, I will talk to you guys um, a week from tonight, no, 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 um, video on Monday, on Wednesday. And if you have any questions, you need anything, you just shoot me an email, a message, a text. I know Nancy, I'm so sad to see he's leaving. Yeah, it's really a bummer, but he's got a life and kids and all right, you guys have a good week. I'll see you in a week. Remember to make it, mail it, get those cards in the mail. Bye-bye.